Hello, in this video let's see how you can access the quality or evaluation metrics of a machine learning model and use it to improve the overall accuracy of your model. Here's an employee attrition data set with attrition information, that's yes or no, and a bunch of employee attributes like department, education, gender, and so on. Now let's first train an ML model on this data set to predict attrition behavior. To do that, you first create a data flow, add the employee attrition data set. Now to begin with, let's use all the data set columns as input to the model. Next, you add the auto ML step, select attrition as the target that you want to predict, give it a model name, save the data flow and execute it. Now, as the data flow executes, it invokes the auto ML pipeline in the underlying Oracle Autonomous database and creates a model. Now, as the data flow completes, you can go to the machine learning tab and look at the model that it just created. You right click and inspect the model and here you go to the quality tab. The quality tab will now show a bunch of quality metrics about the model that just created. So you see F1 value, model accuracy which is 76%, precision is 45%, recoil and false positive rate. And on the right you see confusion metrics which defines the performance of this classification model. If you go to the details tab, and expand the input section, you see that the model has selected many of the columns from the input data set as features to the model. Now using all this information, let's see if you can further improve the accuracy of the model. To do this, you go back to the data flow. Now let's remove a few columns from the input data set that you know are not important and will not influence the attrition behavior. So you can uncheck a few columns like daily rate, hourly rate, over 18. And with that, you just resave and rerun your data flow. As it completes, you go back to the model and inspect it again. Go to the quality tab and you see that the model quality has improved. The accuracy has improved from 76% to 87%. Precision has also improved. So this way you can use the quality metrics information to iteratively improve overall accuracy of the model. Now for classification model, the quality tab will show you values of F1, recoil, etc., and the confusion metrics. But if it was a regression model, then you'd see quality metrics like R square, mean squared error, and so on. Now let's briefly also look at the other tabs here. So the more tab lists various database views that are automatically created as part of model creation that you can go and query for more model metadata information. Now, if you go to the related tab, you will notice that the process automatically generated a couple of data sets. The information that you saw in the quality tab are also available as pre-generated data sets. So you can click on this data set and see how to recreate the confusion metrics. So you select actual, predicted, and value add it as a pivot, you can change values to be displayed as percentage, you can add totals. So now you've recreated the confusion matrix using this data set, which can now be saved as a workbook and shared with other users. Thanks for watching this video.